Hey, what's going on everybody? Switching up a little bit. We're getting some parts from Jegs. Um, you guys know that I'm a Summit guy, but Jegs is a pretty darn good site as well. And they actually have their own branded off-road Y-pipe. It's supposed to fit my truck, but because we LS swapped the green truck, we're gonna see if these fit. I've seen one guy make it work, so we're gonna try our luck with this. And then from the flange back, we'll run our own exhaust. But first, we're gonna pull the oxygen sensors out of the six liter, put the new ones in, and then the used ones we'll put in this guy. So yeah, let's get to work. And of course, it's trying to rain right now, so I'm going to clear some room. We're just gonna pull the truck in, the, you know, the nose of the truck into the garage. I'm not gonna mess with getting wet. Okay, so the uh, problem I ran into first, or already, is that I don't have nuts, and the kit did not come with nuts for the uh, flanges on the manifolds. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find some nuts for it. All right, so I kinda had to uh, make my own. These won't be permanent, but I didn't have any metric nuts, so I actually drilled out some standards and tapped them. Um, not enough thread, you know, to leave permanently, but to just hold it up in place and see if everything fits, they'll do. So now, let's get under there and see if, see if it fits. like the driver's side fits. It actually fits. So it seems like it's not quite a perfect fit, but you know, it's not designed for this truck, so it's, but it's pretty damn close. So I'm gonna try and clamp down that centerpiece, so we don't have an exhaust leak and fire it up, see. It sounds really di well. It sounds different. Definitely sound different. But now that we have the oxygen sensors plugged in, we actually drive it down the road. That'd be kind of cool. Waited a long time to drive this thing since the uh, last time, which has been like four or five years ago. check engine light it does work we got a code so before we take off I'm going to scan it and see what it says so we have developed a misfire it is very apparent so 
I'm going to have to track down where the misfire is coming from. Look up the code. It was a P0200. And then it's, I think there's a knock sensor code. Um, I cleared them. Injectors. Or, uh, said something with injectors. Um, I cleared the codes. Still seems like it's having a misfire, which is clearing the code wouldn't fix anything. But um, yeah, so I got to find the misfire. Everything's fine guys. I'm just an idiot. I was uh, Checking the harness making sure you know all the ejectors were plugged in. I didn't plug one in. I'm an idiot I just forgot when I was putting the harness on the last video to plug the last one in for whatever reason So uh, yeah, let's see Oh boy Perfect All right, let's take it around the block Goodness gracious. Yeah, that feels good. Brakes work, that's good. Make sure <laughs> brakes work. Blinkers work or not, but we're just gonna make a short trip around the block. but I'm gonna let it warm up and uh, yeah I guess give it the floor it test okay, that wasn't flooring yet but that probably wasn't even close to half throttle this thing's gonna rip oh boy oh boy burned out on the dash but that's okay it runs pretty damn good especially if we're not running you know actually driving in over a year of well, the engine the, you know truck has been longer than that this thing is loud so uh looks like this brake is locked up I don't know if you can see that smoke. Yep, that's bad. That would explain why. <laughs> that would explain why it was pulling to the right. So it is, uh, you know, very apparent that this thing needs work. And it sat for, like, like I said a million times, uh, five years. So it needs some attention. But oh man, it it drives, it moves. That is that is cool. I guess we'll move them around. I'm gonna be bringing some stuff back from my parents this weekend. So I'm gonna put the truck here and put this there. Let's see how the 60 starts with the new O2 sensors. I've always thought it was weird that with this tune and even my last one, uh, it does do the stereotypical LS you know, startup where it revs up to like 1500 for three or four seconds then slowly comes down like the 5.3 does but it doesn't so it just like turns on and tries to idle so maybe when I go back to the tuner which I still haven't gone back yet he can put that back in or something similar to that
So yeah, it's getting kind of dark because uh, this is actually it's actually Friday. I rushed home after work because this white pipe came in. But looking over everything, we don't got any leaks. So we need to get the heat reflective, you know, wrap for some of this loom. I'm really glad that the misfire was just something stupid. See, that's where. I uh, missed the plug because of all that bulkiness right there. I was, I'll get it later. And uh, yeah, well, kind of scared the crap out of myself. Thought it, something was messed up, but oh well, we're good. So now, the front end needs some attention. That brake is locked up, so we're going to have to pull it apart, which front end needs work anyway. All right, so kind of a short little video, but a very exciting one. Um, I, like I've said, I, I can't, I can't even tell you how excited I am that that truck has actually moved. It's come a long way. It's a long process. It took over a year because, for one, it was my first one. Didn't know what I was doing. Lots of research and time, money, all that stuff. But thank you for stopping in. I do appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, Endless Wishlist Six Point There we go. Struggling to get it out. But uh, yep, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time. And a little preview of some things to come.